Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. And today I will uh, show you a new strategy, a new system, expert advisor that I created yesterday for the gold market. And it is a triple oscillator um, expert advisor. Here in the background, you can see already the um, historical performance tested on Realtik data starting in 2015 to the end of 2023. And after having a look at the backtesting results here, we will also have a look at the perform. Um, sorry, not at the performance. We are looking at the performance right now, but we will look at um, how this strategy works, which three indicators I use to build this strategy and yeah also we will use two signal indicators one filter indicator and the best part is you will learn all of this or how to write code this strategy in the next upcoming videos so you will be able to fully understand how it works how it is coded and then you can do your own tests as many tests as you want and you can even use this strategy for your trading so if you're not subscribed uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, you should definitely do so, so you do not miss out the next upcoming videos. But yeah, here we can see for the historical performance, I mean, of course, this is historically, it doesn't mean it has to be like this in the future, but historically it would have worked really, really good from 2015 to the end of 2023. Of course, there were better and not so good periods, but that's from my experience at least what you can see with any strategy. And if we have a look at the backtesting results here, we do see a really, really good profit factor. We do not see too many trades because I'm trading on a, um, or I'm trading like really restrictive settings here that I found using optimizations. And yes, these settings are optimized in some way, but not like to a completely unrealistic um, limit. So I only did like one optimization run and then I picked not even the best result, but a result that had uh, multiple trades and was also quite good. So have a look at the um, backtesting results. So you can see that there is not only one good result, there are many good results with different settings. So I think you could definitely use this strategy for your trading. If you tweak and twerk it a little bit, maybe also change a bit about the program itself. So here are the settings. But first of all, let's maybe have a look at the strategy and how it really looks. So again, like if you're interested in reading more about like these uh, key figures and stuff here, just pause the video and yeah, have a look at this. But now I will make another test just for the last year. So it's not loading. Uh, it's not taking such a long time to load. And then we will have a look at what this strategy actually does, which indicators are used um, for the signal, which indicator is used for the filter. So you will learn everything. And here you can see I'm using this strategy on the M15 chart. So the M15 chart is the main chart. And we are using two oscillators here for the signal, which is the RSI and the stochastic indicator. You can see them here attached to the chart already. And for oscillators, you usually um, trade some kind of mean reversion or sideways markets strategy, if you want to say so. So the general idea is that if the price goes into one direction heavily, for example, if it goes up um, for, for really... Um, yeah, for a big move, then the oscillators will signal that there's a over um, bought area, I think, and then um, the signal is to sell usually. And that is exactly what this program does. So we can have a look at this. We can see the RSI 14 periods, which is the default settings and the stochastic 5, 3 and 3. Also the default settings. So I didn't really change the indicator settings here. This is also something you could test and optimize. But yeah, I'm going with these settings and here we have the first signal. So let's talk about this. So you can see here, oh, I mean, actually it's the second signal, but we will have a look at this now. So you can see this was a sell signal and this is exactly what I explained before. Price was going up before and yeah, then we 
the, the two indicators here, they signaled that there is a overbought market situation right now, which means for my current settings that the RSI is above 70 and the um, stochastic is about, I think, 80 or 85. Let me check the settings here real quick. Oh no, wait, the RSI is above 75 and the stochastic is above 65. This should be the trigger here. So let's check if um, the RSI was above 75. And yes, it was above 75. And yeah, the stochastic is also above 65 for a long time. So this is our short signal, but this is only the signal time frame. We also have another time frame here, which is the filter time frame. And here you can see a third oscillator, which is the well-known MACD um, indicator. And you can see this signal when it appeared here for the uh, for the last bar, we saw that the main line of the MACD was below the signal line. So it means that the MACD should also signal a downwards movement and only then the signal on the signal time frame, the M15 time frame is relevant. So we can only trade into the direction of the MACD to filter out some uh, possible losing trades. Oh yeah, and then also we have this um, like, there is a TP and a stop loss. By default, I use um, in this test, you can see it here in the, in the inputs, um, but everything is like, customizable so you can change these inputs once you have the code in the next videos so we have the tp with one percent of the current price the stop loss 1.5 percent of the current price but actually it's really unlikely that we will hit the tp because we use a trailing stop loss and this trailing stop loss will be triggered once we are 0.3 percent of the current price and profit and then we will trail really like close to the current price with 0.1% of the current price. And yeah, so let's speed this up a little bit so we can see how the trading stop loss works. Maybe if this uh, goes into profit a bit. And yeah, there you can see now we do have the, um, the trading stop triggered once we reach 0.3% in profit. And then there is a distance of 0.1% where we trail the stop loss. So if the price goes down, we should see that the, um, yeah, the stop loss is modified. Yeah, it only happens once per bar. Um, but yeah, you can see the, the stop loss is trailed with the current price. And then yeah, at some point it will hit the, hit the stop loss, of course. But in this case, since it was a trading stop already, we do make a profit. And this works for buy and for sell positions. Maybe we can have a look at, uh, there was another trade. I was too quickly here. I oh, know the trade is still open. So you can see again, RSI was um, probably be, uh, above 75. Yes, it was. Stochastic was about 65 easily. I don't have to check this. And then we see there should be a short um, a short trend here. Yeah, it was really close, but for the last bar, the MACD main line was still below the signal line. So it's still a valid signal and the EA traded the signal. And now we can wait for the um, price to go into profit or actually to hit the stop loss, what just happened here. So of course you don't win every single trade, but like on average, we saw that historically this is, um, is good. And then there was another buy trade. So of course, also works for buy trades if the RSI is below 25 and the stochastic is below 35. And this was uh, not a profitable trade, but yeah, then we had another buy trade here, which was super profitable, even hit the TP, I think. So you can see this also happens. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole strategy. And um, there's another winning trade. So you can see this strategy of course, it might perform better in sideways markets where the price is coming coming back a, a lot. And this is exactly what oscillators are made for, I think, because in trendy markets, you will um, yeah, see the stop loss more often. But yeah, we also have this uh, filter here to filter out some of the losing trades at least. And that's um, basically what the EA is doing. So I did the test already in the beginning, so you know what's going on. We could speed this up a little bit to just see 
um, yeah, how the trades are going, but you can see there are not too many trades, but if there is a signal, the expert advisor will trade automatically. So let's have a look maybe at the settings now for a second so we can see what we can configure here. We have the lot size. I use a fixed lot size here for this test. We have the TP, SL, trading stop loss. Talked about this already. Then we have um, general settings where we can define the signal time frame. I go with 50 minutes for this test, but I could change this. And then we have the time frame for the filter. I could also change this, but I went with one hour. Then we have RSI trigger at 75 and 25 and stochastic trigger at uh, 65 and uh, 35. And we, um, yeah, this is MACD filter input. It's cur uh, actually for the exit. So we have the chance to exit trades if the MACD filter turns around, but I kept this as false. But yeah, you will learn more about this in the next videos when I show how to code this strategy. And then we just have the settings for the indicators for the RSI, for the stochastic and for the MACD. So you will learn all this, like how to code this strategy in the next videos. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and then you can learn how to automate trading strategies to um, yeah, trade something like this completely automated. So I hope that you want to see this and see you in the next video. Have a great time, good trades, bye-bye.